Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, folks. My name is Carly Clark. I'm the program manager here at the National Flight Academy. And on behalf of the entire staff of the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation, uh, my associate Tori Trout, and our entire ship's crew aboard Ambition, it's my pleasure to welcome you all here today to the graduation for class 1902. Folks, 1902 has been an absolutely exceptional week. We are so thrilled to have had these students with us aboard Ambition all week long. So a huge thank you to you parents, families, sponsors, everybody who made it possible uh, for these students to be with us this week. We are truly grateful um, for your support of them and the National Flight Academy. Uh, we have had a fantastic time, and I hope you uh, catch on to that throughout graduation and uh, just have a fantastic time helping us celebrate the accomplishments of these students. Now you'll hear us refer to them as AXPs throughout the course of graduation. That stands for Ambition Experimental Pilots. And that's exactly how they've been living their lives this week while they've been with us, as our Ambition Experimental Pilots. From the moment they arrived with us on Sunday, they stepped foot onto Ambition, our 102,000 square foot virtual aircraft carrier. And they were soon introduced to their squadrons, who they are now sitting with, and went to work um, under the leadership of their chiefs, who are with their squadrons right now. They've been working really hard um, in our JICs, or our Joint Intelligence Centers, in our jocks or our joint operations centers, and in our triads, flying our X-12B triad. They've been using uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics throughout the week to, um, to accomplish their missions, to work together as a squadron, uh, to plan um, nav longs, to calculate their headings and their distances and their fuel flow and all sorts of other important things uh, before they launched on their missions. And then they've been doing air traffic control uh, command and control of other members of their CAGs. And so they've gotten a taste of that, as well as the opportunity to be both uh, pilot and co-pilot of our X-12B triads. And so they've done an outstanding job. Uh, congratulations uh, from me to you guys this week. And thank you so much for uh, an excellent um, 1902 class. So um, before we continue on, I'd like to add a warm welcome to those of you who are joining us on Facebook Live as well as Instagram Live. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, helping us cheer on these AXPs. Uh, after graduation, I encourage you to send them a, a text or give them a call and let them know how proud you are of them uh, for the great work they've done. Uh, one more group I'd like to add a warm welcome to are our students from the Flight Adventure Deck, and they're just above us here on the mezzanine level. They are our rising fifth and sixth graders. Yeah. They are our uh, rising fifth and sixth graders. They've been through uh, the Flight Adventure Deck program here um, at the museum this week. And so thank you guys so much for joining us. Glad to have you guys uh, helping us uh, celebrate graduation today. So great job this week, you guys. All right. So, uh, folks, to get graduation started, uh, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce to you the president and CEO of the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation and the National Flight Academy, General Dwayne Thiessen. Okay, first and foremost, congratulations to all you AXPs. This has been <coughs> an absolutely outstanding week. This has been a phenomenal week, all right? And I want you to know that every single one of you has someone to thank for being here this past week, all right? So, mom, dad, uncle, aunt, grandma, grandpa, friend, Somebody, every one of you has somebody to thank. How many of you are from Wisconsin? Raise your hands. Any of them? Okay. So we have, we have some folks that are sponsored from up there. How many of you are from Mobile? Yeah. Uh, you, have, you have a group of people in, uh, in Mobile to thank for your chance to be here today. So I want all you AXPs to give a warm round of applause for the sponsorship and say thank you for what the, for the opportunity to come. Okay, thank you. I want to see some applause. All right. Now for all of our sponsors, our guardians, our parents, uncles, aunts, and grandma and grandpa. Okay. I, uh, I want you to know that this has not only been a great week, but we have 
we've had some great events and in the process some of these folks have become some of these AXPs have become kind of peculiar delightfully peculiar they've become very focused in their group they've become very inter enterprising uh, inter uh, resourceful in their in their group and they have this high spirit of conviction about what they want to do as a group so I'm going to try to show you so that you understand what happens to them when they come here and I'm just going to ask one squadron one squadron to stand up and I'm going to ask the scorpions I'm going to ask the scorpions to stand up now there's a there's an expression in the Marine Corps that says oorah it's a very simple thing it's just a motivation thing all right and on the count of three I'm going to ask them as a squadron to say oorah simple enough right okay one two three all right, thank you. By way of comparison, I want all of you to show them how motivated you are. You ready for this? All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. That was pathetic. When I do it collectively over here, when the whole team gets together and does this, as they have functioned all week, listen to what happens here. All you AXPs, all the squadrons, one, two, three. <laughs> We're going to give them back to you. <laughs> AXPs, my job this morning is to introduce the speaker. And this guy's fantastic, all right? Uh, Rhett Ross is his name. He's from Mobile. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Rhett. He's, uh, first and foremost, he's smart. He is really smart. He majored in nuclear engineering. He got a master's degree in engineering. He was an engineering officer on a submarine as a naval officer. He, was, he is the president of Continental Motors, which is a major aircraft piston engine manufacturer in Mobile. And he has also been responsible for the acquisition and the joining of tens of millions of dollars worth of corporate merging and in corporate enterprise. He is really smart and good at what he does. He's also very, very skillful. He's a people person. He works with a lot of people in a lot of different areas, and he led a team, get this, get this. He led a team that designed, built, and launched a nuclear power package that went to Mars and is still there. That's kind of cool, right? All right, but it isn't because he's smart and it isn't because he is so skillful that we brought him here. He's also a very close personal friend, but that's not why we brought him here either. The reason we brought Mr. Rhett Ross here is because with, with all that he knows and with all that he controls and all that he leads, he understands that he's not the future, you are. He's not the future, you are. And he wants to talk about you and your future, okay? So I want you to help me welcome Rhett Ross to the stage, okay? You know, I'm not sure I can top that. I think I just need to let the general keep talking. So the general told me that he was going to walk around and talk and that some people do that okay and some people don't. Um, I kind of do it okay, or so I think we'll see at the end if you tell me I did this okay. The general is a very humble gentleman because he says I care about the future and, and he's right. But when you watch what the general does every day, 
organizing this, bringing the teams together that support the Chiefs and everything else, and he's committed to our future. That's where the real talent lies. So I want to thank the general, and you all should thank the general and his team for what they've done for you this past week. Now, the general told me that at the end of the day, and I sat back after he told me this and said, do I remember my commencement? And I thought, other than being really happy that school was over, no. Um, so I'm going to add lib a little bit instead of my prepared remarks, but I'm going to stick with some of the main themes. Um, first off, I was in this building a week ago, less than a week ago, and two things were happening in this building. Both were about the future. One was I watched the general commission a young gentleman as an officer in the Marine Corps. Very, very important thing. And I'll come back to that in a second. The second was, I didn't say it, but we listen to it often in this very atrium, Embry-Riddle was graduating a class of students that were then going to begin their careers in aviation, business, the military or go on to future schools. Both of them got me thinking. I started to go back and remember my own commissioning ceremony uh, when I was commissioned as a young ensign in the U.S. Navy. And I remembered how excited I was and how scared I was. It was a very interesting time. The fear stemmed from the fact that I was expected to go out and lead young men and women on a nuclear submarine. The fear was that I was expected at my young and tender age to make very tough decisions and to do very tough things. Now, within that, the Navy puts in a lot of effort to teach us how to be leaders, how to be skilled in our jobs, how to understand what's going on, and to be ready to do that. But at the end of the day, until you actually go out and do it, all of that preparation does nothing but give you a sense of where you're going. Now, you all experienced a little bit of that in this past week. You came here, you crossed the gangplank, came on board the Ambition. You were put into squadrons. You were mingled with people from different places, different areas, different backgrounds, different skill sets, and you were expected to come together as a team. Each of you, as I know what the general and the team here does, gave each of you the chance to be leaders, to be put in decision-making positions, and to take chances in what you did very much like I did in, in my career. Now the general said, yes, that I've got skills, that yes, I've become a leader in my company, I've become a leader in my community, uh, and I focus on trying to give some back. But as I reflected last week, watching this young man go through his commissioning, and as I reflected upon the Embry-Riddle graduates, I went back and said, what did I really learn as I stepped out there that first time and had a group of men and women staring at me, expecting me to know what the heck I was doing. The Navy, good organizations, good leaders are very good at some things. When you really find the great ones, you want to understand what that means. Now, all of y'all will not remember this talk today. I believe that. I hope you do. All of you will remember the past week with great joy, great memories, probably with the exception of surface Navy food, which if you survived that this week, you all deserve medals beyond what you're going to get today. Now, what am I talking about? As each of you stepped forth this past week and were given chances to lead, or given chances to do things, hopefully there are a couple of things that you will take away. Not those things, but even more importantly, and I'll come back to this in a second. When I stepped up on board my submarine, I didn't know anything. I had to qualify. 
when you qualify, you do a lot of stuff. Now, on submarines, and we'll get into a little bit of toilet humor here, you don't operate a toilet like you operate a toilet at home. Also, you have to drain the toilets, and that takes a set of steps, procedures, just like you learned this past week. If you don't follow those procedures correctly, life can get very dark and disgusting very quickly. Now, why am I talking about this? That day, I volunteered to help out a fellow officer and perform the job to discharge the sanitation system and discharge those toilets while we were at sea. I made a mistake. I didn't pay the price for that. One of my fellow officers, much to the joy of the rest of the crew that week, paid the mistake as he took a shower in sewage. It was funny. Now, he no longer talks to me, and I kind of don't blame him. But I learned two things from that experience, and I have lived my entire life doing that, and I hope that these are the things more than anything else that you take away with you this week. Number one, volunteering is good. You help people out, whether it is to take duty for a married officer who needs to spend time with his family or to help a friend out with studying for a test rather than going out and spending time having fun with other friends. You make friends, you gain experiences. The other thing is that mistakes are okay. As long as you learn from your mistakes and move forward with it, you will continue to progress. We make mistakes every day. It's okay. Now, take that home with you. Final thing I'll say, you're in the cradle of naval aviation. You are in the History Museum dedicated to naval aviation. As you finish up your day today and you talk to your parents and your parents have the chance while they're here to walk around, realize that you're in a place that reflects many people throughout history that volunteered not once, not twice, but many times. You're also in a place as you walk around and read some of the things, you will find that a lot of mistakes happen. There are planes out here that have bad monikers, ensign killer, other things, but they moved aviation forward. People, engineers, pilots, and others learned from the mistakes of those early trials. People still volunteered to get behind the stick and fly the airplanes. Many of them, like the general, went forward to very successful careers and were recognized for those endeavors. So, the key to life, according to me, is always have fun, always volunteer, and always learn from your mistakes. So with that, congratulations ASTs for finishing a great week. Congratulations parents for having kids who can do stuff like this and who will go forth and learn and add to their futures because of this. And I wish you all joy and success. Thank you. A very big thank you. All right, folks, it is now time to award these AXPs with their certificates and their wings of gold. Uh, and as they begin to come up, I'd like to um, welcome you families to come up and take photos if you like, to cheer these guys on and really celebrate uh, the great hard work they did this week. So at this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Ross and General Thiessen to join me downstage while I introduce Chief Houdini and Chief Mufasa with the Black Knights. Good afternoon, parents, family, and friends. Uh, I'm Chief Houdini, and this is Chief Mufasa. We had the pleasure of leading the Black Knights this week. We had a great week, a good time. I really enjoyed their company and all the hilarious stunts they tried to pull on ship. 
Um, guys, what I want you guys to understand is that you guys have a lot of potential, and I want you guys to continue to strive at everything that you do when whatever you do in life. I'm going to really miss you guys dearly, and I hope some of you guys come back next summer. So with that being said, let's get you guys graduated. First up, we have Caleb, Guitar Hero, all forward. Next up is Reed, Sharpshooter, Ballard. Next up, Ryan, Dr. Phelps, Brown. Next up, Michaela, Hyena, Chapman. Next we have Amaya, Twinkle Toast, Dodge. Next up, Morgan, Suga, Gant. Next we have Adriana, Blitz, Gonzalez. Next up is Hannah, Stunt, Heathcock. Next up is Kevin, Sigmund, Hernandez. Next we have Walker, Finn, Pickering. Last but not least, we have Maxwell, Loco, White. Up next we have Chief Boo and Chief Sting with the Bulldogs. Again, just a reminder, parents, if you'd like to take pictures, you can um, come up to the uh, stage. This week, um, we had the pleasure of serving the Bulldogs. We had a lot of fun. It was very interesting, and we had a lot of laugh and memories made. Now, let's get them graduated. First, we have Katie, All-Star, Brun. Elizabeth, Squeakers, Chapman. Sean, Tin Man, Hasher. Jeffrey, Star, Mitchell. Charles, Four, Naylor. Everett, Chug, Reeves. Kirsten, Spotlight, Smith. Brett, Reflex, Stevens. Cooper, Rango, Taylor. Abigail, Click, Vatavis. <laughs> Hilton, Croc, Wilbanks. And up next, we have Chief Norlax with the Golden Eagles. Um, I had the distinct honor and privilege of leading the uh, Golden Eagles this week, or as we like to affectionately call them, the Crispy Chickens. Um, <laughs> they're certainly a unique and fantastic group of kids. Um, we all had fun together, we all laughed, but when it came time to focus, these kids were lazy sharp. Uh, la lazy sh laser sharp. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I had, it was a um, fantastic opportunity to be able to lead and instruct these kids for one week. So to the gardens of these kids, you guys are extremely lucky to be able to lead and instruct these kids throughout the rest of their childhood and into adulthood. So I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> and let's get you guys graduated um, <laughs> without crying. Karen, the Navigator, Alvarez, Portugal. Danielle, Batman, Bateman. Jalasha, Baller, Carter. 
Josiah Dr. Evans. Casey Jelly Hernandez. Jacob the Duke Jones. Gage Sonic Smith. Nathaniel Dane Schneider. Hayden Professor Stacks. And last but certainly not least, Joshua Gooney Ward. Next up, we've got Chief Sassy with the Rough Raiders. Riders. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. My name is Chief Sassy again, and my partner in crime is Chief Poodle this week. We had the honor of being the Rough Raiders Chiefs this week. I'd also like to give a shout out to Chief Slick and Chief Tripp for helping us out this week as well. So let's just get these kids graduated because they were just amazing, and I can't wait to see what these kids do when they leave here and they go off into their lives and be so successful. All right, Bailey Fire Belair. Reagan Sour Patch Burnfield. Robert Da Vinci Crenshaw. D Frederick Donut Hall. Evan Shield Mitchum. Emma Giggles Rockhold. Samuel Cowboy Vaughn. Elijah Solo Valeski. Bodie Puzzle Vista. Anna Idol Wilbanks. And lastly, Quinisha Koi York. And next up, we have Chief Maple and Chief Sharkbait with the Scorpions. Good afternoon. We are so excited to see these AXPs graduate. I am Chief Maple. This is Chief Sharkbait. We were with the Scorpions this week. Right at the beginning of the week, I asked the Scorpions to determine to have a great week, determined to have a great attitude, and they did. I was so happy throughout the week to see them power through any struggles we had along the way. And w at the end of this week, this morning, I asked them to tell me in one word what the week meant to them. I think my favorite answer from them was inspired. They were inspired this week on Board Ambition, and I can't wait to see where their lives take them after being on Board Ambition. Let's get these Scorpions graduated. First, we have Caden Jingle Bell. Carly Tank Bramlett. Shaki Rex Daly. Caleb Butter Guild. Justin Guard Guild. Gabriella Spunky Hall. Nyla Skittles Hickenbottom. Mashila Wings Jones, <laughs> Colby Kronos Lee, Clayton Cub Pitts. Now we have Chief Boots and Chief Hurdles with the Yellow Jackets. All 
All right, hey everyone, I'm Chief Boots. This is Chief Hurdles. Uh, we're with the Yellow Jackets. So we had a great time this week. It's been a fantastic time watching these kids grow, uh, watching them learn everything from what careers they want to do in the future to learning about all the aircraft you see in this museum to uh, planning out their flights for the week. Uh, it's been a great time, and I know that all these kids have a great path ahead of them. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and get them graduated. So first is Joel Buttercup Barber. Elena Rose Dorch. Stephen Comcheck Hall. Anthony Ember Haynes. A Miracle Gold Malone. Amorion Slink Mills. Brianna Beans Rice. Emily Kilt Sly. Catherine Noodle Smith. And Andrew Bubble Vass. All right, and I'd like to introduce Chief Taz and Chief Windex from the Dragon Slayers. Thank you, Chief Brutes. Well, my name is Chief uh, Taz, and this is Chief Windex of the uh, Dragon Slayers. We had a great week. It was fantastic. I'm going to miss these guys. It was my best week of, I think I ha ever had as a chief. Now, let's, with that said, let's graduate them. Up first is Brady Kondek Barr. <laughs> Jacob Butterfingers Butwell. Abigail Supernova Brooks. Tanora Pinky Edwards. Emma Pascal Joel. Jarrell Pianoi Label. Matthew Poseidon Magard. Brianna Rabbit Miles. Key Cyber Padaway. Alexandria Aries Sessions. Tessa Doolittle Suell. Up next to the Chief of the, of the Screw Tops, Chief Pop Top, and Chief Band Me. Hello, I'm Chief Pop-Tart and this is Chief Barry. We were the chiefs of the Screw Tops. Um, you guys are really great. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna really miss the orange chicken. And I hope you guys go off and do successful things. You guys ready to graduate? All right. Uh, Matthew Hedgehog Blevins. Elasia. Collateral Brown. I'm stuck. Anna Smiles Fredro, Grayson Style Fillmore, <laughs> Dean Toto Hosher, Jaden Sitter Johnson, Hannah Wipeout Lauderdale. Matthew Cessna Petroskas. <laughs> Brinley Cherry Pew. <laughs> Alexis Three Pointer Tipton. <laughs> and Chandler Ref Tyler. Now introducing Chief Taki and the Tomcatters.
Good afternoon, everyone. I am Chief Taki, and I am the chief of the Tomcatters. Uh, we had an amazing week this week. It was very unforgettable, and I will truly miss you guys. Um, so let's get them graduated. So first we have John Battlecap Child. Michael Fallout Kushia. Emmanuel Broadway Dodge the Third. Sam Uncle Dunlop. Mallory Moo Nance. Jacqueline Dancer Peters. Abby Frenchy Quimby. Bryce Boomer Taylor. Sydney Chan Taylor. And last but not least, Marcella Daredevil Todd. And now back to Carly. Well, congratulations, AXPs. You've graduated. It has been a fantastic week, as all the Chiefs said. Um, before we wrap up graduation, because it's been such a fantastic week, I have a few folks I'd like to recognize for the extra special job they did this week. Uh, first, AXPs, you will have noticed uh, that over aboard Ambition, there are plaques hanging against the bulkheads um, that uh, are representative of the squadrons of the week um, for the past year. And um, whether or not you notice those, uh, that is something we do for you guys to be aware of. We do Squadron of the Week. We award that to the squadron for each class, uh, for every deployment who comes through. Um, to the squadron who was just the most exceptional, the squadron that uh, worked together the best, the ones that, um, that were really leaders, that really impressed their chiefs, really impressed their uh, IOs and their OPSOs. And so every week, um, the, the entire crew, the chiefs, IOs, and OPSOs, um, are allowed to submit um, nominations for Squadron of the Week. And so we had quite a few of those this week because uh, it was such a great week. Uh, but we've had to narrow it down to one Squadron of the Week. And so I'd like to just read just a little um, bit of the nomination that we got for the squadron that we selected. Uh, and this says um, from one of their chiefs, they are a very passionate group of AXPs, willing to learn and attentive. You can tell them their mission and they take what they have learned in the jigs and jocks and go full throttle. This is my second year as a chief and I haven't seen the teamwork in anybody else like I have in my squadron. And so with that said, it is my pleasure to award Squadron of the Week for Class 1902 to the Screw Tops. <laughs> Chiefs uh, Pop-Tart and Bambi, if you would please come and uh, accept this plaque for your squadron. Everybody, this is the squadron logo for the Screw Tops. Uh, the Chiefs will be taking the logo um, and plaque with them and their squadron back aboard Ambition here in just a second. The squadron will all sign it uh, with their names and call signs, and it will be hung aboard Ambition uh, for future classes to see um, when the Screw Tops were Squadron of the Week for 1902. So big thanks, Screw Tops, and big congratulations. And thank you, Chiefs. All right, and finally, we always honor one AXP, one individual this week who stood out for, the, for uh, much the same reason. Great leadership, great um, teamwork within their squadron, uh, willingness to learn, willingness to help their chiefs, um, all those things that made this AXP stand out as, uh, as someone who was exceptional um, that we should honor with being AXP of the week for class 1902. And so, um, again, many nominations, um, many, um, your chiefs, you guys really just thought you were 
outstanding. <laughs> I want you, want you to know that. And so um, this was, again, a tough decision, but we had to narrow it down to one. And um, I'll read a little bit of this nomination. Uh, this is a hardworking and ambitious AXP. She excels wherever she is needed and is an excellent pilot, co-pilot, and radar. She is the first to volunteer for whatever is needed by the chief. We can all 